Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Halo Talk, Episode 7, with Weapons Grade. Yo, what's going on, guys? Weapons Grade here. Today we got another guest. Feel up. I am here. Yes, I, know, I, I know most of you hate me, but I'm here anyway. <laughs> He's actually completely different when you, when you talk to him. So it's li- listen to him out. Listen to him out. He's been saying a lot of a lot of things that are right uh, for years about these games. So yeah, no, it's it, it is good to have you on, man. I know myself and yourself have a a fucking storied history. But look, it is what it is. We're we're past that now, and, you know. This is how yeah, men, yeah. This is how men talk to each other just for all these little fucking kids who think. Uh, all this, uh, any toxicity means you block someone and you do all sorts of shit to them. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. Thanks for inviting me. And uh, let's, let's crack on. Yeah, let's crack Topic on. one. Yeah. So, you know what? Seeing as you're the guest, you came up with a, with a really good topic to start it off. So I'll let you, uh, I'll let you hit the first one, the game. The game itself and who the fuck is it for? Or <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> that, yeah. that just blows my mind because it's like, we, we we are these people who make this game don't have a clue about Halo. They've never had a clue about Halo, and every single person that they've picked up along the way clearly has no clue about Halo, and they don't care about Halo. But they don't even make the game appealing to the Fortnite audience, the Call of Duty audience. They don't even try. They, they don't. It doesn't make sense. Like there's no battle royale at launch, right. so what, who's it for? The I think that's a great Call, Call, of Duty, Call, Call of Duty's got the Battle Royale. Apex has got the Battle Royale. So, you know, what, what are we doing here? Why, why are they not putting the Battle Royale in if that's what they're doing? If they're making Halo 5 Part 2 okay. with Call of Duty controls and aiming, ADS, whatever, why is why are they not then doing the Call of Duty Battle Royale? Like what, going the full way with it. Makes zero you. sense. So... It's not a Halo game, so not Halo fans are just like we lost. They lost half the fan base with Halo Five, completely. That just so we go from Halo Three, twelve million, forty million sales. Halo Reach, nine million sales. Halo Four, eight nine million sales. Halo Five, five million sales. I was selling Halo games. So why do we go? You know what? Let's copy that. Let's do that again. And now this Logic. game probably won't have many sales because it's free. So what's exactly? I know exactly what you mean. What? Who? Who the? Who the hell are they aiming this game for? It's. Yeah, it's I mean, when you do it for everyone, it's for no one then. Well, it's clearly not for the the classic Halo fan. No, because it's not a classic Halo game. It's not. It's not a full price game that you buy. It's just gotten the models completely wrong for a classic Halo fan. Yeah. You, you're not going to win any classic Halo fans over by saying, you know what, the game's free now. Yeah, the launch, okay. the launch content, no paid DLC that's actually worthwhile. Uh, you, you touched on back there the, the sales figures as well. I think the actual player numbers as well is pretty important. So what, two, two or so million people the first day playing Halo 3, about a million playing Halo Reach, far less playing Halo 4, and then whatever the fuck Halo 5 was. Definitely- Halo 5, Halo 5 was less than 10,000 players in 2016 because <laughs> it was behind Battlefront, which had a player count of 10,000 players. Wow. So. <laughs> What's cool so, too, if you compare right now MCC versus, say, Halo Five, MCC is significantly higher in population than yeah, Halo so, Five. So, so why make Halo Five too then? What's the logic? Yeah, right. They have it right in so, front of them. Like it's people who've been asking for a Halo Three Two or a Halo Reach Two or something in the middle between that for years, and they know because it, it's a great question. Like, who is the game for? Because clearly, there's a there's a formula. That Halo fans, Halo fans, I put that in inverted commas, love, and they they have it there. It's it's been done. So why not why not do it again? Just like Call of Duty does it every fucking year and seems to still have a core audience. Why not do that instead of yeah. changing it every single game? Yep, exactly. And it, and obviously Halo straight away from that, so it's even more desired than Call of Duty because Call of Duty's been doing the same shit over and over. Mm. Halo hasn't. Halo's fucked it all up. Yeah, flip flops so. here and there. <laughs> Halo Four built in mechanics from Call of Duty. A lot of people are trying to debate that. It's 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 a fact. It absolutely is a fact. Uh, Halo Five. I don't know who that was for. 
I, I don't know what the, I don't know who they stole from. I think Destiny was one weapon screen. You made a video where they, they legitimately, the developers said, 343 they, said that they stole implements from. Legitimately stole shoulder charge from Destiny. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the Ryan Darcy thing, mm-hmm. whatever it is. Uh, what was tw- in 2016, Ryan Darcy did the talk at Comic Con, <laughs> whatever it was. And he basically right, compares yeah. the game, um, Halo 5. This is the development we did. And then he compares it to other games. It's like, look, you're comparing it to other games because that's where you copied this shit from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why, exactly. why? It's a Halo game. You're not supposed to copy other games. You're supposed to do a Halo game. You're supposed to set a trend. Yeah. Stick with your, yeah. stick with your core mechanics and set a trend. Like if we look at Halo 3 to reach, a lot of, it lost, reach lost a lot of people, but, the end of the day, it still does play like a Halo game. So. Yes, I, I I can say, bro, I have fun playing Halo Reach even today, and yeah, I was same. one of one of the people at the beginning that criticized it. I, absolutely, I know, I'm the exact same. I've me and GLL like even it. had debates back in the day about Sprint and Reach and the map design, and <laughs> it's oh, that's a, it all seems pretty futile and pointless to go back over that, though, doesn't it? it now, does. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the situation we're in now, it's like well, bigger fish to fry. But now we're rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. That's what 343 is doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a fucking disaster, man. And yeah. then people keep coming. Like, fanboys still keep coming to my videos. Oh, you, you know I've what I'm talking that. about. Yeah. Every, every week, something that I said comes true. Like, a weekly. Weekly. <laughs> no Forge at launch. I've been saying that for, like, what, three, four years? I said, yeah. there's no Forge at launch in Halo 5. There's no Forge at launch for the MCC PC. So there's no way you're going to be Forge at launch for Halo Infinite. I sent and you that video st- yesterday of, uh, what, nearly nine years ago that I recorded um, after yeah. 343 yeah. removed me from the community creator program uh, back for Halo 4, uh, where I was swearing at the camera when I still had hair, that is, as well. Um, yeah. You tore it all out, man. Yeah, tore it all out because of Halo 4. Absolutely. I'll agree with that. <laughs> um, because... Uh, because joining progress is put in the game. I was saying, this is bullshit. You keep doing this. Like you're fucked for Halo 5 and, and look what's happened. And we're that side of the community that I think, I don't know what his name is. Like Sean Forge Labs, like some, some guy anyway, does like a coffee chat, a Halo coffee chat uh, podcast thing. He was saying, uh, for all these people that are being negative and toxic about the game, that's why we don't listen to you because you're negative and toxic. So why would we give you the time of the day or listen to what you're saying? Well, it's, the purpose, of what we're saying, in order to reach the truth, you have to be willing to insult someone. That's it's basic. That you don't you, you don't have to acknowledge that I'm the one that's told you. You just have to fix it. So basically, you yeah. watch the video and then you just fix it. You don't have to be like, yeah, this arsehole told me how to do it. <laughs> yeah, which I'll admit, like, we, we can come across as a racist, but no, I'm an arsehole. Don't get me wrong. That's fucking kind of my bit, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We can all go there. The weapons grade, you're probably more on the on the more respectful side. You really choose your words carefully, whereas, yeah, GLL, I'll give you that one. And, and I've had my fair share of rants as well. I've tried to put form on it, but it's it just doesn't just doesn't feel right. <laughs> doesn't feel right. right. And, and like Twitter, I think Twitter was a this is a good way to to talk about the culture that Halo really exists primarily. Uh, for the fans on on Twitter, the main, I suppose, like the core fans, the well, real they're diehards. Not, they're not fans of the fanboys. This is fan the boys, They'll exactly. Support, yeah. support it no matter what, no hmm. matter what happens. And that's it's a whole I, Twitter. Twitter I think that's bubble. something we can kind of segue into is the cesspool of positivity on fucking Twitter and how everybody yeah. wants Halo Infinite. Uh, there, there's a lot of damage control, right? So you have. 343 coming out, giving us basically nothing, being quiet all these years, Mm -hmm. right? They're being so coy. It's like they're taking these, yeah, they're taking these little footsteps going in. If if you wanted Halo Infinite, you're you're the creator of Halo Infinite. You want the game to be amazing, right? You wanted to show it off. You want it to be great. You want the Halo fans to know, hey, man, this is what's going to happen later, man. We This is the game we're going to get, bro. I'm excited for this. I'm ready. Now we have the whole Halo community fighting each other. Literally, on yeah. Twitter, we have we have uh-huh. Halo people on one side going, "No, you know, at the release is fine. You know, it's okay that there's no co-op campaign." Yeah. Well, that, there's well, no- that the you make a very good point there because that was the straw that broke the camel's back, and Twitter literally exploded. Yeah. 
Um, it was literally Halo was trending on Twitter because there was no co-op campaign, not mm-hmm. because it, not because anybody gave a shit that the game was coming out or Halo was suddenly get trending and becoming this popular thing again. No, because everybody was arguing, saying, "What well, this is bullshit. The game sucks ass." Yeah. <laughs> and then you had not- this small contingency of players saying, "Well." Personally, I don't play it, but I feel really bad for the people that don't. Well, then, then talk about it. Because you have Most some of the large YouTubers saying, like, this will be coming after launch. I bet it's going to be the best one ever. It's like, well, like, I want to fucking take that bet. Like, put, yeah. put your fucking money where your mouth is. Because I don't bet it's going to be good. I bet it's going to be a fucking disaster when it comes out. I bet it's, well, it's going to be delayed even further. Yeah, it, well... It, what they were saying is it's an issue with the spawning system, which is just fundamental. Like that should be fucking day yeah. one sort of stuff you do. Like I don't understand. It's like how can you fuck that up? It's like there's got to be a certain amount of distance that you can't get away from the host of the game, and they haven't implemented that. It's like it's retarded. Wow, it doesn't make sense. So it's like so someone goes in one direction, and then someone goes in another direction on the map because it's like semi open world, and then it'll checkpoint for a group of enemies. And it, they can't figure out how to get it to work. That's that's why there's no co-op. It's like that should that's basic. That should be done. How can that not be done? I don't understand. Yeah, for six years my, of development. My time. my thing is about that is why are we just finding out about this in August when the game's releasing in December? But right, they, they've been telling us that split screen, it, the game's going to be content rich. It's going to release as a full game. Yeah. It, it's been six years oh, in development, well, give or no, take. Some people debate they have, they forward. Haven't. They haven't. They've been dropping hints for like a long time that it's going to be a shower of shit. You just have to read between the lines as you always do with free Well, what well, 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 we know, dude, it, the red flags are there. But from what they are saying, from what they are saying from 343 and from what they've showed and from the, the new improvements from the slip space engine, if things it, are so... Why are it, we? See- it, it, it's the same engine. It's 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 the same engine. I'm not. I mean, it's the same. Yeah. It looks the same to me. I, that, that's asking. that's a whole thing in itself. You can, I remember. You can say I'm wrong, but that's my opinion. Hmm. It looks the same to me. So go on. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I I agree. I agree. But anyways, we were talking. You guys, you have people in the community who see this stuff and they. Are fine with it. They're just like, oh, okay, I'm still excited. Are they fine with it though, or do they see it and then they try and figure out how to best damage control the next thing that's gone wrong? That's exactly what I think is happening as well. Yeah, it's it's just total damage control. With they don't want hate. They they believe. I think I genuinely think this that people are so deluded with their and it is fanboyism with how much they they believe personally that they love Halo so much that. If they say anything bad about it, especially in this precarious state that it's in, that they will further push Halo into the gutter, not realizing that 343 clearly doesn't have fucking quality control, so we are the quality control for the game. So without us voicing our concerns and saying, actually, I don't think this works. Well, we're the ones beta testing the fucking game with the fucking flights and shit, so who else is going to tell them it's wank? Yeah, against bots (laughs) as well. Like, bear in mind, like a tech preview. A tech fucking preview against bots. Um, and it's uh, to be honest, I'm kind of ashamed that I thought I, I played I it for two days. Funny. Thought it was I thought it was okay, but then also I was like, "Well, where the fuck's the PvP?" And then I heard that they shadow drop PvP for two hours for sorry, weapons grade for yeah. Americans. So it's like, well, hold on, yeah. fucking phone here. <laughs> well, well, how come? And, and this is a this is a fundamental flaw I think that Halo has is that Halo markets itself as an American game, as an and there's fans worldwide that have been burned by this franchise because it, it just seemed, the only focus seems to be on the American populace. So, and that was shadow dropped for the American populace. And you can see people like Hidden Experience saying, oh, I was in bed at the time. Yeah, well, so was I, because, you know, we go to bed uh, at a certain time in fucking Europe. It was, it was Sunday as well. It wasn't even on a yeah. fucking night where you could actually stay up late if you wanted to. Exactly. Exactly. People work Monday morning. It's know, completely have, unfair. Unless, <laughs> unless, they, unless they think their fans don't have lives and they all live on Twitter, which maybe is the impression, impression that they're getting on there, but you know yeah. what I mean? Normal people have lives, go to work on Monday morning. Yeah, and a lot of people think that they Just know the game's going to be great after two hours of PvP. It's You you cannot possibly know that unless anybody you have crystal who's, anybody, who's, anybody who's that much of a diehard that would actually be on at that specific time to play that you know they're already 
that yeah. much of a diehard that anything they say is discounted instantly. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the flight itself was a mess. Right. E- even from the way the invites were sent out to how they wanted people to sign up to the miscommunication, the whole thing was a, dis- a disaster. Man. From yeah, the start. Yeah, it wasn't great. I, yeah. I like what Dr. Disrespect said about it. I made a, I don't know if you guys saw the recent video where I was making, poking fun at I think Bonnie I've seen, seen the clip where he was, uh, he, just in general, I think I, 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 I love the doc, so I've been following, I follow him all the time. So it's, he said something, he said a lot about it, to be honest, but he's, he shit on them for the tech test. Well, shit. I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad he was one of the few people to come out and say it. Right. But still, at the same time, about Doc, though, weapons, that he, he still is obsessed with this fact that he wants Battle Royale, which I think is the wrong direction for Halo in order to rebuild itself. There, there's some things. I love the Doc, but there's also he's wrong on, on some things, definitely. That, that, is, that is true. That is true. But he did come out. He was one of the first people to come out and say, hey, like, why is there a tech test? And this game has been out in development for six years. Yeah. 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 Well, the beta should have been fucking... In January, sometime really. Mm. Yeah, why? Enough, why? Enough time to why? Make changes. Why? Why are we only inviting a hundred thousand people when the game is launching in December? Yeah, free to play. So uh, how many it's not, servers is it be dead? Day one? Right. It's it's things that make you think. These are red flags. Things that make you think. Okay, is the game really as going to be as good as they say it is? Is the game really in as good of a shape that they say it is? We we don't know. I don't. I don't think it is, man. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I think. Oh, I think. So shocked to me, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm so shocked. Bro, yes. <laughs> Halo Infinite's in trouble. That was great. Oh no, bro. What I are think, we doing here? I still think yeah. they're being. They're just being, to clarify, just clarify, the MCC is fixed, right? Yeah, yeah, it is fixed. <laughs> it's been fixed for years, correct? Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, I still think they're not telling us the whole story. I still think there's going to be key features and content missing at launch. Yeah. I still think we just saw about this fucking challenge thing where they're talking about, oh, apparently you don't get XP for completing social matches. Yeah. What yeah. you have to, you Let's get XP wait. only from the battle or for the battle pass yeah. only for completing challenges. Totally. Yeah. Well, you, you, well, you got to spam real money in the game. We talk about it's a free to play game. There you go. There's a problem right there. Yeah. That's fucked it. Anything now is just be- the result of it being a free-to-play game. Yeah. Why has it got a shit battle pass system? Well, because it's a free-to-play game. Oh, why is there no content at launch? Because it's a free-to-play yeah. game. Why is there no XP? Yeah, free-to-play. Because it's, it's just, that's the that's yeah. the issue. You're going to have to grind out an entire game with a fucking needler to rank up. You know, it's you're going to be there trying to get kills with a plasma pistol just to rank up. That's going to ruin the game design, dude. Yeah, That's going to ruin the map flow. That's going to, you're going to have, if Halo, Halo is such a team focused game. If, if you got one guy fucking around in the back, the yeah. other three are going to have a bad time. Yep. Right? It's all right. Or, or it's all right. two of them are fucking around. It's, it's all right because you'll be playing against bots anyway. So, don't mind. Yeah. It's sucky. <laughs> yeah. You're just going to a bots game, do your challenges, and then. And honestly, Bots to me, I, I just want to say this real quick. Bots to me are not that big of a deal, man. We've had bots oh, in other oh, games. I, I, oh, I yeah. totally disagree with that. I, 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 I hundred percent disagree. Go on, you tell us what you think first. Go. Wait, we just we've had bots in a bunch of games already. Yes, but, like what? But, but Halo's different. But go on. That's my thing. But I, what, what I'm trying to say, man, is they're using bots as a way to fill the game. Oh, look at this. Look at this game here. We got bots now. We got this and that. We, the game should, we always should have had bots well, in Halo. I, I, think, I think they've done bots because every other game's done bots and they just copy all the games. That's my thing. It's like, oh, Fortnite's doing bots, right? We well, bots. well, that's when Call of Duty's had bots since what? Black Ops 1? Well, this is what I'm saying, but that's what they do, copy other games. This, it doesn't mean, oh, this is right for our game. This is a different game, isn't it? I suppose right. it's well, also, I'm, it also comes down to when the population dies people are going to be playing against bots and they're going to be able to inflate some of their figures just like they did with Halo 5 with monthly active versus monthly concurrent users to say, look at all the active users, you know? And it's just some kid like playing against bots trying to figure out what the fuck is this game? And it's there, look, look, 100,000 people are playing Halo Infinite when it's, you know, 60,000 are against bots. My point, dude, is just shut up about the bots. Nobody cares, man. We we know the game has bots. 
Right, right. Yeah. We we know some people care, but let's move on. We all right. There's it's no fun. bots. Or, I'm sorry. There's bots, but there's no fucking co-op campaign at launch. There's no for where, where are the other things? Yeah, you know, well, no. that's why the, oh, that yeah, make Halo Halo, issues, Halo yeah. right? But that's why. Who, who are you making this game for? Right? Who yeah, who even? Well, you're not listening. Go on. That's why there is no co-op campaign at launch because they spent time building bots that no one asked for. It takes time to build that shit. It didn't just happen overnight, did it? Putting bots in the fucking multiplayer, having different ones of fucking this one, this type, and then the fucking f- training mode and the fucking firefight range. Then all that just appeared by itself. No, all that shit's ready for the game. He's right. When you think about it, why are you not going to PvP time, test? Put the time into the fucking co-op, not the fucking gay bots no one asked for. That's what exactly. Doing. Thank so, you. So, so what you're saying. It doesn't make sense. The the bots are a huge deal because they're fucking killing the game. Yeah, because they diverted resources. I, I'll, I'll agree. I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not saying... I never said the bots kill the game. I know, I know, I know what you're saying. The bots, I know the bots saying aren't well. killing the game. I'm saying shut up about the bots. But the bots uh, create get, all kinds of problems you're not even thinking about. Okay, first of all, bots... If you put bots in, you've got to go back to um, no team killing. Because then, he, so then you're turning the game into Halo 4 again, where you can't kill your own team because you don't want a bot to throw a grenade and kill you, so or be a retard and blow you up with the rockets or yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay, for sniper. So, 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 you, so, so you've turned the game into Gears of War, basically, where you can't kill your own team, which is why bots work in Gears of War because there was already no team killing in Gears of War, whereas in Halo you have to have team killing. Otherwise, it just becomes. Stick a grenade on your friend, and he runs in the room and kills everybody, which is what we used to do on Halo 4. I think we're all agreed, though, that because of bots, they diverted resources from co-op yeah, and forge. So that's the. I think weapons grade. You agree with that as well. I know. I know what you're both saying um, that they're diverting resources, and also we, we've known there's bots for months, so it's one of those kind of, I suppose, nearly moot points. But then it, it isn't at the same time that it's it does. They do matter, um, and also this this whole shit about. Even just having bots in the first place as the tech test, just to test the whole premise of that tech test is what test the mechanics, figure out the maps, see if you enjoy the new weapons. But why can't we do that in a PvP environment? Arguably, it's it's better in a PvP environment. No one actually really knows how Halo Infinite, apart from those lucky people that play for that two hours of PvP, no one really knows how this game is actually going to play against other players yet. You know, yeah. none of us know. And we're, we're what? How many weeks away from another tech test? Maybe f- like four to four to eight. You well, know? I think the easiest way to find out is just to play a game of Halo Five, and think you'd be <laughs> pretty close to. <laughs> Couple of people have recreated like. the maps already, and it's yeah, saying, Look yeah. at these talented forgers. It's like yeah, the the three hundred people left playing Halo Five have recreated <laughs> Halo Infinite, and, and that's what it's going to be with Halo Infinite. You know, it's going to be three hundred real players and like sixty thousand bots playing the game. It's, uh, yeah. The, let's, maybe we should go on to the, the opening to the game. You know, well, let's just, let's just quickly talk about the Twitch numbers, uh, because the Twitch numbers were, let me see if I can find them. It's you said like 10,000? About that? 10,000? It was 12,000. Someone said it was 14K at one point, but it, it dropped to 6K views on Twitch, did Halo Infinite, uh, about, I think it was about day two. Mm. And then wow. when the, when the, um, when they, added the, when they added the new bots, I think it was Spartan bots or something, it went back up to 12k. Yeah, so someone will watch for five minutes and say, uh, okay, these was, bots are slightly better, and then they, they close it off and yeah, they go and so, watch Warzone. So, so it, was floating, it was floating around the 12k mark. So it was like 6k, 12k, 14k. And then you've got like Warzone, Fortnite. Fortnite's like 100 and something k. Um, Warzone's 88k. Apex is like 80k. Yeah. Views. So who's who cares about Halo? And then you got that man come out. Oh, every the community is reunited. What community? Does no one cares? No one's watching it on Twitch. So this is a brand new game, first seen gameplay. No one cares. It hasn't even come out yet. No one cares about it. Yep. So what, where's the where's the audience? Where's the eyeballs on the on the on the game? No one cares. Yeah. Well, it's it's three for three's fault for that because every single press release they make leads us further down this road into thinking that it's going to fucking suck when it comes out. Well, it is going to suck. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's the thing. It's not going to be good. 
So it's yeah, about how one bad it actually is now. It's about out of ten, how bad is this game? That's that's. It's not a how good is this game out of ten anymore. They need to work hard to get back into any sort of decent territory, and they have ten years to do it. And do you think they'll do it in five? They haven't been able to do it in six. They haven't even been able to build a fucking game in six years. Imagine this had released last year. I was thinking of that the other day. Like, what the fuck? Like, we we were talking about this beforehand. That it was what the, the campaign and the multiplayer were going to be split. So release the campaign it, yeah. first, and then that was that was after. that was the that was a big big rumor uh, that was out last year towards towards before the delay happened that it was going to be just the campaign and the multiplayer was coming afterwards, mm. and that was when Ubernit put out that tweet saying that, that's believable, man, and saying. People are saying this game's going to release in parts. Stop it. And it's like, what do you mean stop it? You, you already support the MCC, which released in parts, and you continue to tweet about how the MCC is fucking amazing on PC. Well, it is, it, it is thing. releasing in parts, though. Like, Co-op and Forge well, I, are well, releasing in parts now. So it's, it is. But now it's let's go. It's releasing in parts. It doesn't matter that Co-op's delayed. Yeah, well, exactly. Well, but Frank, Frank O'Connor takes a shit on the doorstop and it's like, let's go. Like he, yeah. The guy is just a hype machine. But, but, but a year ago, it was stop it. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, this rumor's not true that it's coming. And now we know it must have been true because the game was delayed. Or something of that nature. Yeah. Was, it, it makes sense to have, to have been true. And this is why they delayed the game. It's hard to see the largest YouTubers in this community, whereas other communities will actually, their, their large YouTubers will, will speak out and say when they don't like something, they're confident when they speak out. And they don't care what the developers think, which is the way to do it, because they're a company. You're consuming their product. You know, it's not it's not personal, which is, in the Halo community, it seems to be taken personally. Like, you are personally attacking this person's work. Well, no, they're a company. Like, they're selling me a product. I put my money down. I'm allowed to critique the product. You know, it's... Of course you are. Like, if you get a shit meal in a restaurant, you're allowed to say, dear God, that fucking, like, Jesus Christ, never tasted something worse. Why yeah, aren't we allowed like, to do it with Halo? It's like Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, but with the free for free of the chefs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good, that's a really good comparison. I like it's that. It's like, our food's brilliant, and everyone, there's no one in the, no one in <laughs> yeah, the restaurant. Yeah, exactly. No one's there. And then, and then I'm like, Gordon Ramsay, fuck's this shit? What, and everyone's like, oh, you can't say that. Yeah, yeah. We're calling it's them exactly idiot, idiot sandwiches, like. and people are, people are crying over it. Saying, oh, we're, the, we're, we're the chefs that yeah. come in. We're Gordon Ramsay, and we come in and we go, what, 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 what are you selling? And they're yeah. like, this. And it's like, yeah, we're coming in screaming, it's raw, it's raw, <laughs> you know, at them. And that's the, <laughs> exactly. That's it's, it. It's that's a that's a really great comparison. I really I really enjoy that. Now that's it's and you can still see people the people that are still praising the game. We're not even praising the game. The people that that have been known in the, in the past to praise the game are saying sweet fuck all and how they're saying it. Look at their cryptic language. Saying I hope that they implement these things post launch, which to me says you are not happy with how this is currently launching, but you're not a, you're afraid to say it because of some abstract reason like either like you're, you're not going to get you think the 343 will sever their connections with you so you're not going to get tweeted out by the official halo channel or, or whatever it is or your your subscribers now have been built on the fact that you're you're pushing this forced positivity model are going to turn against you so they're they're oh, definitely nah, they afraid will. of it the, that, the, that's going to be the death of halo man yeah it is, is the this circle is, jerky yeah well this there's literally go ahead well, I was going to say the subscribers will turn against him. We saw it with Ripping a few years back where yeah. he did a video saying Halo 5 sucks and then where's he now? He's just, just disappeared off the face of the earth. Yeah. He occasionally, uh, he occasionally pops back up because he does the, what the Destiny tracker, uh, stats. So he, he's kind of had a stake in that and Halo tracker. That was, that was, he was part of that. Uh, but still, like, yeah, he's exactly that. Yeah. Yeah. Louis J, he, he disappeared completely. Look, these yeah. red flags, dude, they, We've been able to see these red flags for years. We the have. For three industries. We, we have. have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not, not, the, not the fanboys. They just, not. the horse <laughs> blinkers on. The horse blinkers on and they just go, and, and they, we're on the, in their fucking side view. They can't see us. It's like, yo, the game's wank. Hello. Yeah. No one listens. It's crazy, man. You're right. Nobody listens. You but that's the problem with Twitter. tying your opinion to a game. Sorry, Weapons, I interrupted you there. You're good, man. I, I literally will go on Twitter 
recently I, I just posted we need more people to talk about the issues yeah. talk about be honest with the game and how you feel if you're not happy that the game isn't launching with co-op campaign and forge speak about it talk about why you aren't upset don't shill for a company that just wants you to buy a microtransaction or uh skin or some battle pass why i this community is a mess man yeah. did you guys know there is literally on reddit a subreddit named 343 circle jerking <laughs> halo 343 <laughs> circle jerking they they literally it's a group of like 3,000 people full of 343 fanboys. All they do is make fun of people who have issues about the game. Wow. That is all they do. So, so they're literally yeah. making fun of people who are concerned about split screen, about the content launch, about everything right now. They're, yeah. they're literally saying that everybody's being a crybaby. I'm, I hope I'm not, am, do I sound yeah. like a crybaby when I say that Halo Infinite should launch with split screen co-op campaign at launch? No. Well, no. Obviously not, but you know it's it's one of the do, I, do I yeah, it's do I sound subjective? In, unfortunately, I wouldn't I'm, even say that I sound entitled because this is an expectation at this point. Yeah, yeah. For six years of dev time, I put a that, tweet out that, the other day on this, uh, asking people what their current hype level is at the moment and were the game to release with co-op, forge all the full features of the game. How would their high, current hype level for what we're getting now change? And I had so many people say, oh, it wouldn't change. What the fuck are you talking about? What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? So if, you, like, if you're getting Halo 3 versus what you're getting now, you're telling me you'd be the same level of hype. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. It's, in order right. to, the mental well, gymnastics to, uh, needed to come to that conclusion is, is staggering it, to me. It's pure, it's pure damage control and fanboyism. It's, there's yeah. no logic to it. It's like I had the whole Griffin Gaming Discord fucking attacking me on in my on my channel. So yeah, so to bring Halo back, that was uh that was funny. Like I bring Halo yeah, well, back's a pretty pretty good guy on this as well. Like he's he's been he he's not afraid to voice his opinion on this kind no, of thing. No, no, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I I've dis I have disagreements with him, like, but he's we all have disagreements him. with each other. Like it's it's kind of the nature of our our side, and it's true. There is a side of the community where our our voices lie. And it's there, it's suffocated down because people don't like the truth. It it, it really it, it really That's, interferes with their own perception of themselves. I think not just Halo, like that. It it we're actually attacking their personalities in their right. minds because they're all but kids. Just, yeah, and I just see the same arguments that were debunked like six years ago with Halo Five, and it's the same mm. retarded arguments. It's like you know what this this people said this about Halo Five. And the game failed. You understand? So, you saying this now is not going to save the game, no, because it didn't help Halo Five. So you can say it's not like Halo Five, whereas in Halo Five they said it's not like Call of Duty, but it doesn't matter. You can say that as many times as you want. It's not going to affect the game at all. People are still not going to play it. People are going to turn up day one. They're going to put it in the tray and they're going to be like, "Where's the fucking split screen? Where's the fucking co-op?" And that'll be it. And they'll yeah. be gone. Game's dead. <laughs> Exactly. If you don't, if you don't say it, and that that's something that I think a lot of people can't understand, that if you don't voice your concerns, and yeah, it comes across as negativity because it's negative what's happening to the game. So how can it not come across as negativity? That if you don't voice this now, how are they going to change? No one will change if you tell them they're perfect. If you tell them I have some cons to this, like do you want to maybe fix this, they'll actually think about it and maybe maybe consider fixing it. Like if we if everyone didn't freak out about this shitty trailer we got last year and the brute like the craig yeah. brute thing then like they wouldn't have delayed the game if everyone just you know said oh yeah we, yeah. we love this release the fucking game in parts but, but, but the thing was it was people outside of the twitter ball wasn't it it was people on ign yeah. and shit which yeah you know it wasn't it, it was mainstream because it was at e3 and everyone saw it so exactly it was like, this is shit when it's in when it's a three four three announcement or whatever a small announcement yeah one no one cares no one even looks at it yeah. And then, and then the 343 fanboys on Twitter, and, and I'm including the app man here because he literally said, so do I. The, communi the community reunited. That was his video. That's the <laughs> one I covered. The community is reunited. What community? Who are you talking about? What? The people on Twitter that have always been united? That always yeah, sing the, from the same, same hymn sheet? The 15 to 21 year olds that, that have grown up knowing a crap product and a crap gaming industry that sells them half finished products. So they don't yeah. know any better. You know, it's, 
that's that's the community now. That is the what community I like, now. And we're told like to shut about, the fuck up. And I've played this game for 20 years. I legit what I like, 20 years. What I like about everything going on right now is that for the 343 fanboys, every day we're going at this, it's getting harder and harder and harder to defend 343 Industries. Yeah. It is. Well, right? Yeah. It, when, when you... When you keep, when you're a company like 343 and you keep repeating your mistakes over and over and over again, people are starting to wake up. They're starting to go, okay. They, they, no more splits, no split screen again. Okay. Halo 5. Wow. I'm getting deja vu. Dude, how have they not woken up by that? You know what I mean? How long does it take to wake up? Like MCC on PC was meant to have a custom game browser. It was advertised having a custom games browser. Where the fuck is it? Where is it? It's just, 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 just come out in beta. Yeah, for Reach. But for Reach. It? Yeah. For Reach, for Reach, a game that wasn't in the MCC at launch. Yeah. <laughs> so it's... it's I'm, ex- it's a, it's I'm excited farce. to see people finally... Some people are finally speaking out. Like it's, it's no longer an unpopular opinion. Right? Or, that, um, it hasn't, hasn't been for a long time. It, it wasn't it even wasn't in the Halo Five days. It's just that there's a, but, a group of people. But but um, it but it's always been an unpopular opinion in the Halo community itself, right? But what, you, but what, you, what is that? What if you what would go the Halo community? For instance, if you would go on, I don't know, let's say Reddit on Halo and say, "Hey, Halo fans." Yeah, but that's um, what fanboys congregate, isn't this? Is what I'm saying, right? Yeah. But right, yeah, but that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying even the fanboys are being yes. exposed to this. They're they're yeah, having to talk about it. No, you're right because the co-op campaign is what the straw that broke the camel's back. People yeah. literally lost their minds. Like you got Arash lost his mind. It's like welcome to the party, Arash. Like, like the, yes, exactly. It. They they were yes they were forced. <laughs> They were forced to finally say something. And now here we are where every, it's just a shitstorm. It's literally like if you go and look at Halo News. They're eating each other alive. They're eating each other alive right now. That's what they're doing. There's, 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 there's fanboys that have snapped, like LNG again, snapped, started yeah. back in the game. You brought up something to me actually the other day, GLL, that is completely like it, it blew my mind because I was able to pick out maybe 10 people. Just off the top of my head, you said all these people that are forcing, you know, the, the smile for Halo Infinite, like I'm so hyped, are the same people that you see on Twitter multiple times per year having these mul- these mental breakdowns about yeah. like because they're they're lying to themselves. They, they're, they really they're living are. a lie. They're yeah. living a lie. That's what they're doing. Then then that's not good for your health. Yeah, living a lie is not good for your health. And that's that's exactly what they're doing. Like a hundred percent, what they're doing. You, you see it multiple times per year. Like someone says, what the fuck is this going on with MCC? Like, I've never played something so broken. And then the next day, I have to apologize to everyone for my conduct yesterday. Like, that's not me. <laughs> and I've, I've gotten this before. Like, someone saying to me, like, wow, you're you're acting so unprofessionally on your videos. Well, I have a profession, you know? I'm yeah. not going to say what it is, but I have a profession. You know, I've gone yeah. to college. I have a job. I, I work in the yeah. real world. My profession is not sitting around playing games. And, right. and and shilling for a company because I need a paycheck at the end of the month and I need to get views and that's all it is it's view whoring and it, it's it happened way back in the way back in the day with Call of Duty where people wouldn't say shit all that Team Martin crap uh, it's and it's happening all over again we just have a new breed of Halo YouTubers that don't really give a shit about the game they give a shit about the views the likes and how much AdSense they can get and how many Twitch streamers they can get etc. And it's that that's the biggest problem with Halo is the community. We are the biggest problem. It's not the devs. We can check the devs. Other other communities do it all the time. They check their developers and the devs have to listen. They look at Crytek and a game called Hunt Showdown. Anything well, that's know. bullshit in that game, like the, the players well, yeah. are on it and Crytek fix it. I don't know that we are ultimately, I don't know if it would make a huge difference because 343 are still shit at the end of the day, but it, it, it can't hurt to just say, you know what? It's wank. If everybody said it was wank, what would they do then? They would have to do something different. Yeah. Or just it would continue to be wank. They, if if everybody came out right now and said, "Hey, you know what? This looks shit, guys. We don't like this." Well, it would last year. They they, they might yeah. delay the game. They might delay the game. But it's what GLL said about the the, the gaming community as a whole has to attack this as as a as an overall force. We have to, we have to attack this, not just Halo fans, because we'll say it and 
the you know the Halo official channels and the devs will just ignore us because they can they can you know live in their echo chamber when the entire gaming community and the industry says what the hell is happening with Halo like you know Microsoft's flagship IP is struggling hard then like last year they have to do something about it and I don't know what they've done between last year and now like it was around this last August where we released that what Halo Halo Talk Five weapons grade where we were talking about the Craig stuff and. People were going off on us, like people were yeah. painting us as like, and you're 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 black, and they had like your face on a KKK photo, you know. It's, yeah. We were being yeah, quite literally that. hung, drawn, and quartered for what we were saying, and we we're right. Um, in in that we said this: these are the things they need to do, and they didn't do it. And a lot of people were saying, "You need another perspective. You need to understand what game development is like." It's I, I don't need to understand. All I need to understand is wh- why are they roadblocked on this? Why can't they do this? Why can't they do it? They've, they've had six years to muster up something. For a six-hour campaign with two environments and one biome. So literally, that is one hour per year that they've been able to develop. What the fuck is going on? You know, it's... I don't know. And this this tech test as well, I think this is something we wanted to talk about. Like, So they're, they're talking currently about the tech tests. All oh, the previous yeah. tech tests with bots. That was, that's, here's our feedback. But what about the future? You know, the, the BTB one is supposed to be the next tech test. So what about this? This is their new BTB 2.0. The largest amount of Halo players seen on a map. Why don't we know anything about it? It's not ready. Because <laughs> it's not ready. Yeah. yeah. Are, there, are there any... Do you guys know about any game modes? I'll bet any you any money. Modes? I'll no? bet you any money the BTB is delayed till after launch. Yeah. I haven't heard about any new game modes. Or BT, BT Bay yeah. would be delayed till after launch in Halo 5, so it would be poetic. Wouldn't it? it would, wouldn't it? Well, there'd be three, uh, like, d- there, there'll be delays in game modes, like Weapons Grade saying, and if BTB does launch, it'll have three or four maps, max, maximum, yeah. maybe less. Well, well in, in Halo 5, there was just Forge maps. Yeah. They don't need to do that again, are they? They fucking better not do that, because that's a... What's interesting, too, is... Well, well, we haven't seen a BTB map, have we? No. So, is it just Forge maps again? Well, there's no Forge for six months, so I don't know how that would work. <laughs> or, is there like, or, is there like two, or is there like two maps and then the rest of them are Forge creations? Or Well, like, it's it, there's going to be two maps, and then in six months we might get, you know, a you know, community competition to put another couple of maps in, because Forge is going to be well, here yeah. next June. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Sorry, Webster, you were saying, uh, you were talking about game modes. Okay, so we- what game modes do you think is going to come for Infinite? Well, I'm I'm saying what isn't going to be there, right? I'll, so I can give you a list. We know what we have multiplayer campaign. Where's firefight? Well, that's not, well, that's not coming because they put bots in, so that replaces it. Where's Warzone? Even though that was terrible, Fuck I don't. Warzone. I was never in Warzone. Warzone. Back Hell back no! Back Get that back out of it. Yeah. There's no, but, there's no, there's no Warzone because there's no card packs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They can't sell you something, so Warzone. What? Done. What is that yeah, tertiary game mode? What is that third game mode that is saying, like, hey, come check out what we're doing new with Halo? Well, the Battle Royale will be there, but it'll probably be delayed. <laughs> Do you know what they're doing new in Halo? They're not releasing half the game. So that's what's no, new there in is, Halo. There is no Battle Royale. There's no Firefight. There's the no... Royale, the Battle Royale was in the leaks, though. It just hasn't... Hasn't it's manifested right. yet. Yeah, they're they're probably so fucking scared to announce anything like that at the moment that they're going to wait for yeah. for Battlefield or Call of Duty to release, and then they'll announce. You know, on the slide they'll say, "Oh, by the way, we've got a battle." You know, the the only BR is a is a battle rifle. Well, looks like Frankie's lying. It's it's there's going to be there's going to be a BR. We all know it. We're not stupid. Yeah. yeah. Well, the voiceover's in the game, so it's yeah. coming. As yeah. far as I'm concerned, or it was planned to be coming, even if it's cut. Yeah. What would they do the voiceover for if it's not coming? Of course. So that basically sums that up. Yeah, but I'm sure someone on, on Twitter could could have a mental gymnastics uh, debate with you about oh, why no, you're they're, wrong. They're already they're already there. Oh, that could mean anything. You yeah. know what it also you know what it also <laughs> could mean though. It could mean there's a battle royale coming. Yeah. You know, just just throwing that out there. It might be, yeah, yeah. I mean, like that, you know, anyone there's sensible could think that. Literally, people doing videos on me saying I'm wrong about that. No, you're not yeah. wrong about it. You're not. And did you see? Do you know what I find really funny? How all this negative news about Co-op and Forge is releasing, then the XP news comes out. 
then suddenly, suddenly there's a nice little, you know, marketing ploy where they throw MCC season, season eight update. Oh, look, turf from El Dorito, which I played for, you know, four years ago is coming to MCC. I don't care. I don't care. Couldn't give a shit. Oh, look, you know, the flood are coming to, to coming to firefight. ODST firefight. Again, I don't care. It's smoke and mirrors. It's trying to push us away from the real topics at hand, which is their next game. You know, I don't care what's coming to MCC. MCC is a horrible experience. The MCC should not be getting garbage added to it. It should be getting fixed. That's yes. the whole, is to make it work. And it's not, it's made it worse. Mm-hmm. It's for, the menu, it lags. Like, why change the menu? Yeah. We've got a menu, change the menu. Okay, did that fix the co-op campaign in Halo 2? No. Okay, so we've added some helmets. Okay, did that fix the co-op campaign for Halo 2? No. Nope. Okay, so what are you doing? <laughs> what about the What's quit the penalties? What, what are they doing there? You know, everyone quits out of the game. You just sit there getting shit on. For why would you have quit you penalties? And why would you have quit penalties in a game that is fucking six years old of a collection of game that is 10 years old yeah. that no one fucking plays? Why, why did you remove that anyway? map voting? You know, and that was one of the, the fundamental things that set Halo apart from the rest at the time for yeah, a three in exactly. reach. Vote for a map that you want. Reach had the most diverse range of game modes and maps that I've ever seen in any video game yeah. ever. Uh, Absolutely. Why would they not re-implement some of their, the, you know, the true skill ranking system? Why would they not do that alongside the progression system from three or reach? I don't care which one they do. Preferentially for me, it'd be three. Why would you not put that in? I've never, I haven't seen a ranking system and progression system as good as Halo 3 since Halo 3. It's. Well, the, the issue with that is they don't have enough player base to make it work. Mm. But, you know. Would work now because free to play, but they work with bots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Shit on a bot and got a fifty. Easy. Fantastic. God. And then this phrase, like I see it all the time. This is this is the damage control phrase at the moment. Coming after launch. It's coming after launch. You know. Yeah. Even well, the YouTube. Coming it's coming launch. after launch. I hope it comes after launch. I, 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 I go a stage further with Sean W. Is that no one cares about co-op campaign, so it's okay. It's not there at launch. No one gives a shit about it, so it's okay. Yeah, that's Sean W. That's the guy I was thinking of. Who the guy who was saying that why should we listen to people who present their ideas in a negative manner? You know, it's we're not going to listen to you. So why, you know, you're you're never going to get the changes you want. Well, the changes we want are actually for all these ungrateful shills that are <laughs> that are you know basically sucking on the teeth of three four three. Just to say it plainly, like I'm going into full rage mode now at the moment. <laughs> I I know some people who aren't playing the campaign until they add co-op. Wow. Yeah, but once they find out how bad the campaign is and watch the cutscenes <laughs> on YouTube, they yeah. won't fucking play it anyway. <laughs> yeah. My girlfriend, my girlfriend just started getting into gaming. We just started playing Quake. It just came on Game Pass, so she's yeah. actually learning the mechanics, and we can't even play co-op Halo Infinite. Oh, oh man. man! Don't worry, man. You're not missing much. Yeah. Have you not got two consoles? You can play, you can play Halo Five. It's fine. Yeah. Easy. Oh God. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, buy, 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 uh, another, buy another Xbox One. There's another thing as well, the seven-year-old hardware. What, what's going to happen there? I think, GLL, you touched yes. on this with, with Destiny. Yes, I was going to bring that up. I keep forgetting. Yeah, Why the hell, obviously, the seven-year-old hardware, I said this probably, tw- I think, 2018, I did a video on this, when and everybody said, there was this, this, is a, this is a funny thing, right? I was saying, this, they're talking as though, they didn't specifically say it, they, they're talking as though they're building this game for the current Xbox One. And I said, that's an awful disaster idea. Yeah. Like, why would you do that? And all the comments in my video was like, they never said that. They never said that. Right. But now the same people are saying, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, did it matter or not? Because it mattered when they weren't doing it. Because I was saying they are doing it. It was a terrible idea when I was saying they are doing it. It's a buzzword. It's-, it's another buzzword. It's another 343 buzzword. You know, no man left behind, like they're the fucking Marines or something. You know, it's yeah. where well, even no, no console gamers left behind. Well, let, let's just, let's just go back to that clip in a year or so when they're like, sorry guys, load of DLCs coming out. Can't support it on Xbox One, so you're going to have to upgrade now. But sure, look, you should be updating, upgrading which anyway, will right? It, which will happen. Of course it'll happen. Of course, Absolutely. you know they're gonna have what their crossplay between like an Xbox One, a Series X, a PC. It's gonna be a yeah. fucking disaster. 
They're going to be yeah. a disaster. People are going to be playing on different frame rates to each other. It's, it's, how are they going to balance this? Uh, another thing, 30, I, I have a big problem. 30 frames per PC. second. Yeah, 30 frames, yeah, on, uh, on it, Xbox it, One. And, and you're not even 30 frames against 60. You supposedly gave me 30 frames against somebody on 120, so you won't stand a chance. Yeah. But even then, are they going to be able to reach 120, like an actual 120 frames per second? I don't well, think that's so. A whole, it's a whole other thing, though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, that's, that's, that's on like a 2060. A, that's an equivalent 2060 card in the Series X. So it's not, not fucking yeah. happening. I'm on a, th- like I was telling you guys before, on 32 gigs of RAM with a 2070, and I was hitting yeah. just over 100 frames on that. And I was cranking the fuck out of Halo Infinite on that tech test. I, I really wanted to push the hardware to see what it could, see what it could do. And look, it looked, it looked, fu- it looked good, but it's not 120 frames. Well, that shows how unoptimized it is, man. Yeah. Yeah. With bots flying around the place, like throwing grenades, fucking assassinating me. It's just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. That's a completely, that's a total aside to what we're talking about, but it's, it, it is, it is pretty fucking ridiculous. Um, and you, we were discussing before on what, what's the legacy experience here? What are we, you know, how oh, is, key- how is this new? How is this, how is this new and, and old? Yeah, but the the thing is, they say that it's a legacy experience, but then they talk about something that's not a legacy experience, but they say it's a legacy experience. So you're just left like completely dumbfounded as to the stupidity of what they've just said. Yeah. It's like, we've got weapon lockers, legacy experience. Okay. Where's the weapon lockers in Halo 3, 2, Reach? What on in the, in the multiplayer? Where are they? Well, how is it a legacy experience then? Yeah. And then they'll be like, there's ordinance drops. For the the weapons, um, they spawn in it, spawn in an ordinance. I'm like, yeah, okay. So, is this a legacy experience with Halo Four? Yes. Or, or, oh, where's the mean, legacy? Yeah. Where's the legacy experience here? Like, what does that even mean? Legacy, legacy means bungee in, what, in all of our eyes. It, it's I just assume. a it's just a buzzword. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. But even th- even then, like define like weapon lockers again are a legacy experience. How? It doesn't like the the whole no thread of logic whatsoever yeah. in any of it. Can you could you um, imagine? Could you imagine back in two thousand and ten when when Reach came out, what we were, you know, what we were about to get, you know, like the the future of Halo, like how how dark this would have this this is about to become. Because I, I can't. I thought this is a franchise that always knows what its fans want. It stays true to its fans. And, and now looking at this, it's just, it's so shit to see it. Like it, it genuinely upsets me sometimes when I see the, just the tomfoolery of 343 and, and the people that are sucking up to them about it and saying it's the best thing they've ever experienced in their lives. Like just really shows how boring their lives are. Like what the fuck, you know, like this, this is, this hurts to see Halo it's, like this. Cause this is terrible. Man. These kids don't know how big of a giant this game was like. I, I had people when I was 16, Halo 3 coming out, people screaming Halo in the corridors the day that H3 came out. What, September 25th yeah. on, a, on a Tuesday? Yeah, you literally walked about shouting Halo 2 and Halo 3 when they came out. You yeah. were like, Halo 2! And people would like shout back, Halo 2! Yeah, you'd be like, Halo, Halo, and it all was o- all, all over the college, all over the college, everywhere. It was just people getting Halo 2! Yeah. And you, you, you'd you be groups. And someone would say, like, what rank are you in all this? So you'd be, like, kind of judging yourself in your show, in your social circles against, like, what, what you know, how good are they at Halo? Then Call of yeah. Duty came out, and that was kind of a nice little division between Halo players and COD players. And then, obviously, Halo decided we need to copy COD now. And that's what's been happening for years. They just they went down this rampant road of just copying other games, and now we have what we have now where they, they haven't a clue what the fuck they're trying to make. They don't have a clue what their audience really wants because they've taken from all these different groups. So they have to satisfy all these different groups in their eyes. Well, they and just haven't got an audience now. They've just lost the audience. There's, there's nothing. They're like Unless it magically goes on free to play and Fortnite players magically come and play it out of pure fluke, they've got no audience. Yeah. No one cares. And it's disappointing as well seeing what they're doing at things like Gamescom. Like Halo Infinite won the like the best game at Gamescom. Just for some context on that, <laughs> Cyberpunk won it last year, so that's you that know was like sad man. You know, that the, thread wasn't even real. Yeah. What, what there wasn't anything shown at Gamescom though, was it? This is no. the yeah, yeah, there was, there was, was no cinematic multiplayer trailer. Really? Yeah. 
people saying, oh, I'm so it. attached to these characters. How can you be? Like, honest to God, <laughs> how can you be attached to that character after two minutes CGI? And look, I don't, I don't care if it's... A lot of people were saying as well, if you, if you debate that, they'll say, oh, well, you don't like it because it's a woman. No, I don't like it because I just don't give a shit about the character. I, I don't like... They could be green for all I care. Like, it's... It's, but it's it, it's in a game series where they've been known to give us vanilla generic characters from Pre Four Three. That's all they've ever done. Yeah. So why would we get excited for another vanilla generic character from Pre Four Three? Yeah. Like what? They've are we going to actually see this person's story when we're playing multiplayer? I'm, Fuck no! Like we're not. We're not going to see. Seeing, I'm seeing the, as I'm watching this man. I'm like, okay, I don't know who this chick is. I don't know what this program. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where this location is. I was clueless the entire time. The location, you yeah. didn't know where it was. That well, was the well, UK. That was London. Well, well, this is the whole. This is the whole thing, though. Is why would you even have a story in multiplayer? Yeah. Like, what? What? what um, why waste the time? Yeah. Why do, you, why do you need that? to? Why don't you build the story for the campaign that's not ready? And why is there, why are you putting story over here? They have no clue what they're doing. Yeah, because they, they don't really have much of a story. And this pilot yeah. guy, like it's. He's meant to be our new faux hammer, I suppose. Uh, bro hammer. Well, people well, call he, him. he hasn't got a name. He yeah, hasn't got. He's called the pilot on the toys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it, this. This is going to be a shit show, and it's it's just about how well, shit it's going to be at this point. Well, do you want do you want to talk about the actual intro for the game, which yeah. people are saying is not the intro to the game, even though it is confirmed as the intro to the game? Because yeah. I'm, I'm sick of people telling me it isn't when they, yeah. they said it is. Lead the way. So. So literally, this is, this is like two, three, was it two, three years old now? Yeah. They two. gave away the intro to the game. I mean, or is it more? It's three. It's, two, it's oh, 2018, is it? Okay. It was 18 or 19, like the one or the other. Yeah. It's the guy with the beard who first seen for the first time and he's just, he's, he's on the fucking. The pelican in space. Pelican yeah. in space, just kind of hovering around, doing fuck all. And he's upset, and there's a thing hanging out the ceiling with some stuff coming out of it, some steam, the alarm's going off, and then he magically grabs hold of it, and then he falls to the ground. We don't even see him fix it. And then he's lying on the floor, and then time magically passes while this deformed woman talks to him on a fucking recording <laughs> that looks like something out of, what, like, it just looks terrible. Like, if you're going to do an, an, a hologram, make it look, Good, like Cortana would in like a Halo 4, for instance, make mm -hmm. it look cool. Looks terrible. Absolutely awful. It's like something, it's the most cliche thing you can have in a space series is Daddy misses his kids in space. I yep. actually did a video about this, but it got, it, it, it's not real wide because it got claimed. But, um, so it's like basically, um, take any space film you've ever seen, like Armageddon. Hey. Alien, anything, right? Yeah. It's all, or, um, what was that one? Interstellar, right? They've all got this generic yeah. narrative of daddy misses his kids in space. That's what it got is. You. And it's always, um, he's away from home. Therefore, he's upset that he's away from home. It's the most cliche thing I've ever seen. And it's right in the opening for a Halo game. And no one picked up on this. So I'm like, this, this is Halo. This is, this is the game. This is, we got to, this is the story of this guy. This generic story of the, and this little toddlers in the background going, how big are you? It's the most annoying, <laughs> dull, it, it's awful. And then, and then this guy finds the master chief yeah. and he's able to start him with jump leads. How? The campaign is going to be a disaster. What, what man. happened to Sergeant Johnson? Like he was like, he was, he hits the ground and then he just badass. Re 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 yeah. He reboots his suit. Why does he need the, the electric, the jump start. Why does he need a jump start? Imagine he didn't if he, have jumper cables. Imagine. If he needs, if he needs jumper cables, he's dead because his suit stopped his air supply hours ago because he's got no fucking power. He's dead. That's the law. The fucking yeah. suit recycles our uh, uh, fucking three four three. Always goes on about the law in the box and all that shit, right? The Bungie never even they were just side to the game. But three four three puts the law in the game. In the game. Yeah. They take the box and they say, like, this is canon to the game, right? In the in the box, he only recycles air in his suit for, like, a couple of hours or something. So yeah. correct me if I'm wrong. No, right? no, you're right, because that, that happens so in how, Ghost, Ghost so, Sonics, yeah. 
So how long has he been out there in space with no air? And yeah, he's you're right, to- he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's already dead. dead. He's dead. And he's got no power to his suit, so it's not recycling the air anyway. So there's, there's this is a huge plot hole. <laughs> in the uh, already, <laughs> to be honest, like, oh ha- happy God. days because Chief died on the. the I never the thought about the that. Dawn, Thank you. He, he died on the dawn in my in my mind. Like it's, it's Halo Four never happened. Halo Five certainly has never happened. There's yeah. something actually with the story. It's, it's Halo it's Five. They're not continuing. Thing. It's Halo Wars Two now. Now this is a continuation of an oh, RTS. Just, oh, oh, without <laughs> Atriox, the main character. Yeah, without Atriox, like, exactly. So what? What are they saving in Halo Wars Three? It's like this is the biggest game. Yeah, you, you're supposed to be having ever, and you're not putting the Atriox in it. Like I'm just like. Well, it's also absurd for yeah, people that just stick with the FPS franchise to say, "Oh, sorry, you actually need to play the RTS in order to understand the story." It's, it's, it's like well, it's, it's like what they did yeah. for Five. You have to have read the books yeah. to understand what the exactly. fuck's going on. It doesn't make any yeah. sense. You shouldn't have to. You should be able to play the games. And they stand alone by themselves. And if you want to get a little bit more lore or into the universe, the expanded universe, then you can, you know, you can read your comics, you can buy your figures, you can, you can buy your books, you can listen to Hunt the Truth, which misled everyone for two seasons. Hunt the Truth, which is not non canon to the game, though, yeah. which makes sense. Which is what we're doing at the moment now with 2 for 3 is we're hunting for the truth. Like it's, it's so poetic <laughs> like, at the moment. It's, oh. it's actually hilarious, like how much they, they've, they just mug themselves off constantly. Mm. That, means, then like, that, that means uh, weapons grade. That means that they're like making a show of themselves, kind of around uh, <laughs> around UK Ireland. That's what, mugging yourself off. That's what that means. Mugging yourself of. off. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah, hundred percent. But it's, it's just like the opening's terrible, so the story's dead. Yeah, within I, I like this Master Chief's opening dead. trailer. <laughs> the opening trailer. Exactly. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what they didn't explain how long he'd been out there. Yeah. How long has he been out there? If he's only been out there for an hour or so, then what happened? How did what the halo ring blew up, and then he just decided to go for a walk? In like, space, what, yeah. How is he there? Does True. his new armor recycle air for longer? Has he got life support in the armor or something? Explain. And like for anyone who's read the spoilers, which uh, we won't go into it, but like for s- is Cortana alive? Just just say that for me right now. The weapons grade, you read it. Well, I don't. I don't know, but I'm assuming they're going to bring her back. At yeah, the end. I don't know either. Or is that DLC? Would be DLC. That's DLC. Cortana's <laughs> DLC. Perfect. It's coming eight months after launch or a year after launch. Yeah. Well, what, pe- what people are saying to me, without spoiling it for anybody who doesn't want to fucking know the actual spoilers, people. So I haven't read them, but it's basically like retelling the story of Halo Four again. It's right. similar to the story of Halo Four. That's what I've been told by people, because I just skimmed through it. Because I was wasn't looking for the story per se, as what the game is. How yeah. does it work? And all I see is. Uh, take out three AA guns and then about another halfway through the game you take out another three AA guns and then another part of the game you take out another amazingly three AA guns that's the gameplay brilliant it's, that's de- it's destiny uh, and to, to be honest yeah. if, they, if they had yeah, done that yeah. it would be better than probably what we're getting now if they had copied destiny and that's that's well, the, a big thing to say as well they've only copied destiny in the sense that they want to make campaign DLC and put microtransactions in with um, skins and stuff like that yeah they copied all the bad parts of Destiny. Not yeah. the good parts. They're gonna have like some fucking elite that shows up at like a corner of the map like Zer and just like you, you gotta buy a helmet off them like, you know, that's one week only. It's they're, they're gonna copy from every single they, game that they possibly can to try and push this out the door and, and get as many as in their eyes, get as many people as they can from all these different communities, and then they'll absolutely ostracize the people that care about this game. Yeah, exactly. Hundred percent. Yeah, that's where we're at. All right, guys. Yeah, I think on, on to, just wanna... to end, I just yeah, we'll we'll end it up. But uh, before that, I think one more topic on. Uh, I think as bad as it is, the MCC like once it gets mod tools, will be where Halo players will actually go back and play with with custom games and and things like that. And once it's it'll be fixed in five years, but that's where Halo players will uh will actually populate themselves. I don't think Infinite's going to be 
it's not going to be our our board for for playing on for the next couple of years. It's it's still going to be the it's going to be the classical games, you know, the old mechanics which worked. They still work. They're still popular. I can't well, wait till they get the custom game browser on all the Halo games on MCC. Yeah, someone will mod in the progression system. I'd say for for Halo Three. Yeah, and then that's it. That's what we'll, that's where we'll play our games, mm-hmm. and we'll we'll watch from afar as as Infinite. And three four three slowly, you know, push themselves into liquidation. <laughs> ah, well, they should have got, oh, they should have got rid of they should have got rid of them after Halo Five. Yeah, they do really like what what was Phil Spencer thinking there? Like, didn't yeah. he just like you know? Didn't he just did they just I, pull the wool over everyone's eyes? Like, oh look, we sell more uh, mega blocks than we've ever sold before. Brilliant. Did anybody we'll check the sales numbers for the game and go, ah, yeah, no one's fucking buying this shit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's it's fair to say that three four three industries really after this man that we got to question if they should even be the people creating Halo man because this is just insanity, dude. Well, the, it, the, the gaming community it, needs to make that decision, but we we already know that that decision should have been made made after like nearly a month or two after Halo 5 launch. I, I think I think it's it's apparent now. Like this is the fourth strike. This is the Yeah. Three strikes you're out. This is the fourth strike, man. It's like, like the fifth is... at least man, because like MCC released twice like shit. Like if you think about it. And then there's Halo 5, then there's Halo 4, which was horribly received. The competi- it nearly it destroyed competitive Halo. Really did, which is what Forge is going to do if it doesn't release with the game. It will destroy competitive Halo, and that that is net. People were talking about that the other day, but how competitive is going to be great once Forge releases? Well, it won't be because as soon as it went towards a third party, Emma from from when it went from a third party being MLG controlling the settings and the community controlling the settings versus the developers controlling the settings, all of it went to shit. People stopped playing competitive Halo which is a big draw to Halo back in the day. Even with Reach. Reach had a great competitive competitive uh, era. Had its own playlist, yeah. Yeah. And it was fun to watch. The competitive Reach was fun to watch. I had a good time watching that. Uh, Halo 3 and Halo 2, obviously, were the... And recently, even Halo 2 had its had its last competitive uh, tournament. Yeah. And that yeah. was fun to watch. You know, it was good. Like, it's it's the game stands up. It's still fast. It's competitive. It's interesting. Uh, I've never been that interested watching 4 or 5. I can tell you that for free. No one can ever. Never, ever never watched. Never watched five. Yeah. yeah. Well, Shylock yeah. has. I remember it's the most competitive, competitive Halo known to man. You know, he said it. You know, the guy, the guy <laughs> does, the guy does curls three times a week. So I trust him. <laughs> the, the, Sh- the, Shyway. Shyway. <laughs> I'm going to call him Shylock because I like that name. <laughs> Rooney Rooney versus Shylock. Shylock, yeah, that's it. It's I I hate like I I hate what's happened to it, but I think we all do. So that's geez, that's a good that's a good place to to end, I suppose. If anyone has anything else to say, like then fire away. I'm good, man. Gilo. Well, the, the Halo, just quickly, the Halo um, Championship series and all that shit was more popular when it was Halo Two anniversary, and that was the height of pro tournaments and the height of the popularity of them. Yeah. So, well, there's a reason for that, isn't there? And they nearly had sprint in that game. Did you know that? Well, I don't know about that, but... Yeah, goes to you know, the Army and keep his, mo- his mouth shut on that. It doesn't really make sense to have sprint in a Halo 2 anniversary, does it? It's, no, but they nearly if did. It was, if, it was, if it was a Halo Reach anniversary, then... I, I, would, I would love to see the upper management in 343... Uh, you know, all say that they found great opportunities and that it's a great, great game, and they, they they're sorry to go because it'd just be the call that you know they've had, they've had a meeting and it's there you're done. Like Phil Spencer slamming the book on them, saying you're done. Bonnie, pack your bags. You had a good run, but uh, you're out. You know. <laughs> the thing is now though, it's supposedly a ten year game, right? So why don't they get someone else to make the next one while they're working on this one and actually finishing it? Yeah. Like why? Because you know this isn't the last Halo game. No, of course not. They'll, they'll milk it till the end of time. So, or until these, they completely these, let, just, just let these fucking idiots carry on working on this one that no one gives a fuck about, and get somebody else in to make a good one. Yeah, Saber Saber Interactive seem to be be up for the challenge. 
Yeah. Well, well who knows? Any, anything's better. Anything's better than these jokers at this point. Yeah, sure. Slipgate, not, a game that released for free, like, is better. Not the coalition. <laughs> yeah, that's made by <laughs> Splitgate's made by four guys. Yes. I don't like it. But it's made by four people, and it's you Halo know, with portals. Better, better than this shit. Yeah, it is. It it's, is. It's as simple as that. So th- those guys must have more passion between them than the whole of Free Four Free combined. Yeah. And at least they're not stitching their code together and, and taping it together with, with elastic bands. It's, that, that's, that's what the, that's apparently what MCC is. And it seems to be exactly what Infinite is because they can't seem to get it off the ground. And we looked at, in a, in a previous talk at the glass door reviews for 343. And I was looking at it today when a, a couple of people were calling me out, calling me evil for comparing the content that will ship with COD Vanguard compared to Halo Infinite. And it's a fact that Vanguard even if I think it's not going to be a good game and I have no interest in COD, we'll have more content at launch than Halo Infinite does, and they're in a one-year yeah. dev cycle. And they are rec- recycling the engine, but still, it doesn't matter. The point still stands. Well, I think 343 is recycling the engine, but that's, that's another argument, isn't it? Yeah. It looks the same to me. The animations look the same. The, the, the lighting looks the same. It looks like... Lighting, animations... Some of the textures. I'm, I'm getting hail and the sounds. sounds the textures. Like, some of the yeah, the palettes. The, yeah, I yeah, know like, exactly what you're saying. So I'm I'm saying it's the same shit. Now maybe it's heavily modified, quote unquote, or they're going to come out with some bullshit to why it's not the same engine. But to me, it's the same engine. And then that that goes back to what we talked about before. What, where's this hyped up slip space engine? What, why aren't they showing us like what this new slip space engine does? You know well, what I mean? It can't do shit because it's on seven year old hardware, so it can't do fucking anything. No, it's, com- it's coming after launch. I, That's um, I remember <laughs> like for Modern Warfare when the Infinity Ward, they actually showcased what the new engine did, like the animations and w- that's besides the point. But three four three, like, are you going to show us what? Remember, remember, there were supposed to be like animals and like oh, that's what, cool. deer. That's you know cool. what I mean? Yeah, well, but that's. What, I said that from day one as soon as I saw that trailer. I'm like, no, that's going to be in the game. That ain't the right. game. Everybody was there going, no, this is the game. I'm like, that isn't gameplay. There's no fucking game there. Uh, I remember seeing nighttime, a, a nighttime setting and uh, animal. Well, well, the dynamic web is not coming at launch, sir. So. Nighttime yeah. setting? You know, I'm just. Okay. It's back to that phrase, coming after launch. Like, it's, it's, which is why everyone's saying delay it. And, and to the people saying, what about the, the people that waited last year? You know, they, they got it delayed and they like, they need, they want, they need to play the game now. It's like, no, look, the, the point is, it's not, it, it, we have to remove ourselves from being selfish let's, here. Wanting the let's game. forget, let's forget about the 200,000 people on Twitter. Let's think about the two, like the 10 million people, potential audience that are going to play this and never play it ever again. Yeah. That's the, it's the crust of the argument because. We know there's no co-op coming at launch. There's going to be people that buy this game and find out there's no co-op. Yeah. There's going to be people that buy the console and find out there's no co-op. This is huge. Yeah. It's a bad taste in your mouth. You just spend £450 or whatever it is for a new Xbox Series X and you can't play co-op. Does that make any sense? We've seen more minutes about merch than we have total gameplay from 343. Yeah. And then the gameplay, it was more people talking bollocks than it was gameplay itself. In the, la- the lack of campaign gameplay is just scary, man. It is scary, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're allowed to market your game. It comes out in December. Like, you, you, uh, 343, I give you permission to market your own game. You know, make us want to buy it. You know, no one wants to buy it if you're not going to show it off. That's free to play, so. Yeah, <laughs> that's free, yeah exactly. I, like, I really feel like they're hiding something. Or like they, they, are it. they aren't hiding anything. They've got nothing to show. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> yeah. That's, that, that's they their a... hiding, that they have no content. Or they're, or they're trying to make it seem like they have a bunch of content. And they're just ready to yeah. just drop it all at once and just blow yeah. us all away. Like, does anyone remember that Halo 3 trailer for the multiplayer that, that came out maybe a month from, from launch? I downloaded that on my old PC and uh, f- found a way to download from YouTube in 2007 and just watched that over and over and hyped myself up and the first yeah. day it released and it was amazing there was everyone yeah. was so so happy that this had come out they were so passionate the same thing with reach they were so passionate there was so much shit there at reach at launch it was there was so much to do and, and i feel like it's it's this is just 
I, I can't be disappointed because I don't expect anything. I literally, I don't even know. There's barely a game there. I figure I'm going to play two games against bots, uh, play uh, play the campaign in one sitting, and and that'll be it. It's like, okay, like I'll come back in in six months when you know when there's actually more co- or if there's more content. Well, for people that aren't reviewing this game or you know have YouTube channels or anything like that, there's literally zero reason to play the campaign for one I've read from the leaks. It's literally kill AA guns. Do this, do that. It's it's like Gears of War Five. You just kind of stroll around. Yeah, people say, "Oh my god, it's amazing! It looks amazing! I can't believe they did this!" It's it's it's. Yeah. It look, it, it, but it's it's lipstick on the pig, isn't it? Even if it looks amazing, which I don't think it does, it's <laughs> still there's, it's nothing there. It's still a pig. Yeah, it's 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 not. They're just dolling up something that's. They're showing you if they're showing you the absolute best as to what the game has, which is what you're supposed to do to sell it. Yeah. Then what is the shit part of the game that they're not showing us? Yeah, that's it's worrying. That's very worrying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the the, the maps are just basically Halo Five maps in the multiplayer. Halo Five gameplay. No one cared about Halo Five, so. Even the people that defended Halo 5 before launch bashed it after launch. Yep. And now they're defending this game and then they'll bash it after launch. So, of course, two weeks after launch, it'll be like, where's the game modes? Where's infection? Uh, where's fucking Griff Ball? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, same it's again. such a circular so, pattern that we go through every couple of years. And it, it's like, yeah, it's like Westworld with all these robots. Like you have to break your loop in order to actually find out what the truth is. But that's what it is each year. It's a little habit loop to where we, you know, we go through the same thing. You hype it up. You, you viciously attack the community, viciously attacks people that have anything negative to say. And then ultimately the game still releases in the same shit state. And then everyone just dogpiles on it. And the people that have said it beforehand are just the, the most negative. Whereas no, actually you're the most realistic people that have, that have known what the hell is going to happen prior to launch. And you've said it, and it's fallen on deaf ears. And they want to think that the larger YouTubers, when they finally speak out, are are doing it because now is the right time. Well, the right time is prior to launch, and it always is. Absolutely, absolutely. That's exactly the point. If the, if you don't say anything before the game comes out, the game will die. Yeah. If you if, if fix it before it comes out. Yeah. Like I mean, I think this game is beyond saving, but you know, I, I agree. It, it doesn't matter what we do, but it, it, the, the only. If you actually give a shit about the game, then you try and fix it before it comes out. Yeah. So that people that don't know anything about the game aren't going to be like, where's the split screen? Where's the co-op? Where's the forge? Where's the... There's going to be, we're going to see that. We're going to see that story. Um, oh yeah. There's, there's a lot of YouTube, like Angry Joe. Um, there's a, there's a lot of YouTubers that are voicing their concerns on this that have major yeah. sway. And these guys yeah. are, because they're, they've, they're known for being truthful. Um, they're they're basically yep. untouchable, and like they should be listening to to people like that, like Solid Rev and, and a couple other yep. guys that that are yep. always consistently told the truth about games. It just they call it how they see it, and people don't like it because it, it threat. Again, I, I know we have to come back to this point, but it's it threatens their entire character when someone mm-hmm. says this is going to be crappy, and it, they don't want to hear it because. A lot of these, a lot of these people, and I, and I look, I say this with some respect because they'll grow up and realize their mistakes like I did when I was younger. But a lot of these people are young and they're immature and they don't realize, and we're, we'll be called immature based on this. 100% in the comment section, people will dogpile and say, people, people, people will dislike this video just because I'm in it. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All three of us. No. So there's, a, there's, a, there's not a lot of, uh, especially yourself and then myself. And then if we, if we had had someone like bring Halo back in here, it would be an absolute dogpile of some of the uh, other YouTubers saying. I would, these I would are be surprised. Things. I would be surprised if someone makes a video taking stuff out of context of this video from what we're saying, and then pretending we're saying things that we're not. Well, that happens all the time. Saying. That's what happened to me today with this this whole thing on on COD. That there's check check my tweets. Just check my Twitter today, um, and it's for for people watching this. Check my tweets from the twenty eighth of August. That uh, I've been called evil and saying that I'm supporting sexual harassment in Blizzard's workplace. You know, just just taking. The, you know what I mean? Like it's it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's just like just like take something that completely out of context yeah. and then just run with it. It's exactly. Like, Create your own narrative well, here. That's that's what yeah. it is. You know, and look, it's unfortunately people who tell the truth are going to come across as abrasive. 
And that's, that's, that's a fact of life in order, like we said at the start, in order to really tell the truth and get through to someone, you have to be willing to, to, to hurt their feelings because they sure as fuck are willing to hurt ours. Uh, if the, the, or, or try to hurt ours or give us criticism. So if they don't care about our feelings, then why should we care about theirs? And look, this yeah. is, and in fact, that's just the nature of good debate that you have to be able to, to get through to someone by challenging their views and it's not comfortable. And that's it. And I'm sure people will challenge ours on this. And it's, it's not comfortable for us, but like, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an open mind and listen to see what people are saying. Ultimately, I think that we won't be wrong, but I'm, I'm prepared to put my hand up and admit I'm wrong if we are wrong. And, and I don't think they are, you know, they'll, they'll well, keep their it. fucking hype train going. I've given this game a 90% chance of failure. I give it 10% chance to succeed based on unknown factors. But the unknown factors are, Will it, will it suddenly get an apex success type where people just come from nowhere that are not Halo fans? Because the Halo fan base doesn't give a shit about the game. It's whether some random people mm. somewhere, but so far we've seen on Twitch, no one gives a fuck. Like normally if a game's on Twitch and it's new and it's going to be popular, people will watch the streams with it in and they all. So. That's, that's a good one there. So you're 90% thinking it'll fail. Weapons grid, what are you? And I, I don't. I think the game is going to be a dud two months after, three months after release. The first season, man. I, I think. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know, man. Well, you're giving it a ten percent chance of success, like me, where it's like it, it's people that don't give a shit about Halo that play it, as in because I because I know outside people. I know this game is huge. Like I know there's a lot going for it at the same time. Like everybody's yeah, eyes are on it. Yeah, so but it's, I, play, it's player base, isn't it? What we're saying is, is it going to sustain a player base? You can, it can be a, a com- compared player. compared to compared to Warzone, compared to Apex, compared to for, no, they're not even close. You, yeah. you will see it, not will, even close. You will see it break Halo Five records at launch, where for player base active players, so active, yeah. not confirmed, correct, correct, yeah. correct. not even correct. not yeah, not not it won't hold a candle to any that, of the big but, games. But that's the no. narrative that free for free spend is the active I'm, users. I'm saying so they'll, would, they'll be coming out saying active users are higher than Halo Five. Yeah, I'm saying after the, the first season when like people, yeah, the reality sets in. Oh, okay, this is what we're getting. Oh, that's it. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. When someone speed runs the campaign in two hours, that's when we know that this is that we're fucked. We're fucked. It's gonna it's gonna trend on Twitter, and that and that's it. I I would. You guys are giving it a far larger chance of success uh, you, than you I will, I think it's you, looked like. I think it's 95% going to fail. You will, you will <laughs> be able to speed run the campaign in two hours because it's a open world game. Yeah. So unless that's the objectives, I say open world, it's not open world. It's like Gears 5 for anybody watching if you want to check that out. So it'll be, it'll have missions within the game that are not required to complete the game. So it will have go and, um, help Billy with his, yeah. I don't know, newspapers or something, RPG style stuff, <laughs> what is just completely irrelevant it's to the Spider-Man game. Spider-Man stuff, yeah. I can't even think, like, collectibles, pointless collectibles. You've got to climb a mountain and it, you have to gl- gather something and there's 30 of them on the map or something like Assassin's Creed or Horizon Zero Dawn or it'll have stuff like that in it or, or it might, it might, cause yeah, like Gears of War 5. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Gears, Gears of War 5 has like relic weapons to collect. So it'll have like sp- special weapons you can find and you have to go and find them all. They've and already confirmed like, that. Joe Staten put up a, a post uh, yeah. when he's on the way back from, I think he was on the plane back, uh, from Gamescom, from the, the actual, the, the conference itself. And he was talking about how he's going to go back and play the campaign again. And there's parts of the campaign that he's just discovering. And he, he found a down yeah. pelican and then there was a sniper rifle. Down back. pelican. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, I, I, I don't buy it. I honest to God don't buy that, that you've just found a quest in the game. This isn't Witcher 3 here. Where like no, I, no, I no, put five hundred like, hours like, in, I'm still finding quests. Like this is not no, Witcher three. No, no. no, it'll be like Gears Five. It'll be um, there'll be three helicopters on the map that have crashed, and you have to find the three helicopters, and that's like a side objective that mm. unlocks an achievement in the game or something. Find the three helicopters for ex- that is literally in Gears Five. This is this is what we're talking about here. Yeah, and or you'll find your game. skull modifiers around the game. Uh, it'll just be a bunch of boring, pointless stuff that. Doesn't yeah. affect the story whatsoever. Uh, like get the water system up and running for the 
people. Yeah. Okay. But it inflates well, my, player time. I'm, That's... I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take my time doing that when I'm trying to save the world to get someone else to do that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's so many other better games now that, that are going to be coming out. Like it's to be fair, out of all these three games, because I know it's people are excited that it's you know, it's Call of Duty, then it's Battlefield, then it's Halo coming out, or is or, or is it Battlefield COD Halo? Which which order is that? October is COD, is it? Well, Halo's dead ass last. Those yeah, those pairs, yeah so. Halo's last. Definitely. Okay, well, that's so it's not COD and Battlefield all. coming out. So it's probably COD in November, Battlefield in in October, and, and you Halo got Battle for Back for Blood as well. Back for Blood is one that I'm going to play. I, I think it gives a. I think there was a lot of promise. It's also on Game Pass, so it's the the beta know. was decent. I just need to see what yeah what they what they come up with. Oh, well, the full the release beta, is like yeah. I don't want to put. I don't want people to look back at this video and say you're an idiot because <laughs> the game turns out being shit. But oh, the well, beta, you're, you're you're allowed to be wrong. But it's it's. You know. I'm just saying the beta from what I've seen in the beta, it was good. But I, yeah, I, 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 I agree. Hey guys, I uh, I gotta get something to eat here, man. <laughs> All right, this is a long yeah, it's been a long one, but uh, okay, like this is as good a spot to end it as any. Then, um, thanks to everyone yeah. that, that watched uh, here. No matter what channel you're on, I'm sure that that uh, we have between all of us mutual subscribers and also ones that uh, that all agree with with what we're saying. And it's uh, I want to I want to say special thanks to the ones that hate my guts that stuck all the way to the end. So thanks yeah. for showing up. I. I <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If you if you hate our opinions, but you stay to the end, well, well thank you. Uh, th- look, thanks for at least listening, because that's that's one thing that if someone disagrees with us, but they give us the the you know the courtesy of listening to what we have to say, and they they at least they can still disagree, but perhaps will change people's minds. Like if we change a couple of people's minds, I see that as a as an absolute success. To be honest, uh, there's there's yeah. not a lot more that we can do other than just just tell the truth and say it as it is, like we have been for years. And, well, well, for me, this is should be a boycott campaign. Like, yeah. Don't, don't, don't get, like if you get this game, obviously do it through Game Pass. There's zero reason to okay, yeah. support this game as a physical copy because the the co-op campaign is not even on the disc. So yeah. what's the point? Don't I pay agree. for this game. What, I what are you buying? Game. Go the Game Pass way. Yeah, your Game Pass and a weapon's great. So am I. I <laughs> so are you. It appears so. That's the. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But that's so sales. Don't don't like. There's going to be people that are literally buy the Steelbook edition and stuff, and that just fucks everything up. Yeah. Then they literally, it's money for all rope. Exactly. You're telling three four three that you're going to pay them sixty, seventy, whatever it is, dollars, euro, forty five pounds, fifty pounds, whatever it is in yeah. the UK. You're, you're for half te- a game. For half a game. Yeah. You're telling them that this is okay, and that's that's why gaming has has gradually just you know receded. It's fucked now. Like it's it, there's never. I can't believe from two thousand from the early two thousands to around two thousand and ten, two thousand and eleven, maybe two thousand and twelve. We were stretching it. What gaming looks like now compared to then? Like it's 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 truly horrifying. And these young kids, you just you just don't. Unfortunately, you just don't know. And there's nothing I can do. And I'm not trying to be an asshole when I say that. That you just buy a three sixty. Buy a three sixty. <laughs> You'll have a lot do of fun it. with a three sixty. Yeah. Yeah, the three sixty elite. You won't go wrong. Yeah, Get yourself some games. Plenty of games to play. Play the play the old Saints Row games. They're better. Yeah. Live service just ain't it, guys. Play play the old Halo games. Yeah, live service really ain't it. That's a phrase you see all the time as well. That's that's the criticism of the fanboys. Whenever they actually want to say that they don't agree with something, they say this ain't it, Chief. So it's uh <laughs> yeah. have you noticed that? That that is that Life is, service ain't it. Yeah, this ain't it, Chief. That's what they that's what they say. That's the that's the most critical they can possibly be with their language this ain't it chief so i i want to i want to see a little bit more of this ain't it chief from some of them to 343 because that seems to be the only language the buzzwords that they respond to it's brain it's so brainwashed though it's all the same shit they get it over and over and over again the only times people tell you to touch grass now it's like just get a life you know what i mean you're just repeating the same shit that someone else is saying or yeah it's just awful you can only respond like in laughs to some of these comments as well like I can just laugh, Ridiculous. you know. It's like, what, what am I meant to do? Oh. Try and convince some some kid that like what we're saying has actually yeah. come to pass already? It's yeah. you, you're you're a boomer, right? Okay, it took you two minutes <laughs> to come up with that one, didn't it? Yeah. But then, and then another. But I was a kid when Halo Five. When I was criticizing Halo Five, I was a kid. But now I'm a boomer. And it's the same idiots. Yeah. <laughs> well, was I yeah. a kid? Well, am I a kid or a boomer? Like, make your mind up. 
Yeah. Which is it? It's like this is this is the comments I get. Just complete just cretins. Wack is great as the best comment section of all three of us. Like you actually have people that interact with the content. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have people my, coming in, they're gonna be like <laughs> some guy said it's sad to see an Irishman so destroyed by so, so you know, like this channel. it's sad to see an irishman so uh what is it poisoned by english objectivity or something like that i was like what the fuck are you talking about this is on the yeah, force exactly. positivity thing it's like you know it's sad to see what that i've got a brain like that it, it's yeah okay it's sad then mental yeah mm. anyway right we're uh this this is a good talk this is a good talk. I definitely think yeah. when when more news comes out that uh that, that definitely GLL will get you back on because that was uh yeah. this is a lot of fun. I, I I I add something to the conversation even if everybody hates me. It's, it's fine. You do though. Like yeah, it's, I, I'm you know, it's, I'm there to be hated. Don't worry. Well, you and you have a lot of knowledge on what's happening and like you've obviously like to be fair, you're the one who's documented all these things. I saw you throwing uh LNG's uh, old videos. Um, like on yeah, his he, opinions he, on ODST, and then uh, what was it? The uh, ODST, and then Halo Five pre-launch versus post-launch. Uh, so you have it actually yeah. documented when people lie and when they backtrack, and it's it's. I think it's fucking yeah. it's impressive, man. You're like a cop. Yeah, I just wish I had the one with Toys R Us when he was trying to buy a truck for his beard remote control. I don't have that one. That was <laughs> a classic video. Yeah, or any of the Halo I, follower I, I want him. I've got a lot of Halo follower stuff because I did a lot of responses. So I, I, I've been a fan since the Power Rangers in space. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that one. It's a good video. It yeah. said so much with nothing being said. I, lo- like- I liked your edit with uh, with I was in it as well with the the Back to the Future like like this can't be yeah. happening and then I'm fucking the doc <laughs> coming out <laughs> yeah being like I'm afraid it is Marty <laughs> and that was a, I enjoyed that one. I had a good laugh at that. That yeah. was funny. Um, that that was the day Halo died as well. That was li- it's literally yeah. like the game's game free to play. Oh, that's it. Game's yeah. over. It is happening. Game yeah. over. And we were very vocal on that. Like at that time, I was I was furious when I saw it. It was uh, and everyone was saying, "No, it's good for the game. We'll invite people in. Like this is a new generation, wow. and they don't have to pay a cent." It's like, and now we're seeing, now we're seeing that 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 the dividends of that. What has that done for the game? It's gonna fuck <laughs> it all up. Yeah. It's done nothing. You have to buy a colour. That's what it's done. Yeah. Exciting times. Yeah. Love to see it. So if we're going anyway, I better say thanks if any of our subscribers watch the video and you know all that stuff. Because I thank the haters before the subscribers. There you <laughs> go. Weapons great. Thanks for watching. You're guys. Signed off. There it it's is. good to have you on GLO. Yeah, yeah. Um thanks for having me on. Yeah. Okay guys, uh, that's gonna be it. Obviously, leave yep. your leave your comments down uh, down below. If you disagree, I want to hear it. Definitely, I want to hear it. Uh, just tweet at all of us, or just comment down below in, in whichever whoever's comment section you're watching yep. this on. And uh, yeah, I'll send you guys the video or the audio um, ASAP, and we'll try and get this over to our fans. Whenever you're seeing it, we've we've done our best to get this out as soon as we can. Yeah. Okay. All right, gents. All right. Thanks for the talk. Right. It was great. All right, I just want to take it. All right, see you, boys. Yeah.